Hi Aquarius, Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, Venus, welcome to your daily energy reading. Let's find out what is happening at this point for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, Venus. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors, what are the messages for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, Venus? We are starting with a broken, I feel shattered about this situation. This could be you or the person that you're thinking about at this point. This person is thinking about you here. We also have reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors, what are the messages for Aquarius? And then we have indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Some of you are dealing with somebody that is in that two of pentacles energy, in and out, very unstable energy. So you don't know what this person is thinking or feeling. I'm getting an energy of someone that is currently feeling broken. They are reflecting on the separation that they had with you here, Aquarius. Let's get more information about this, this relationship, about this energy that I'm picking up here. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. And then we have single parent responsibility. Some of you are single parents. Some of you could be dealing with a single mother or a single father here, Aquarius. Somebody that has a lot of responsibilities. Or this could be you, you where you have a lot of responsibilities. And then we have ghosted, disappearing. You're dealing with someone that could have ghosted you. I'm getting that this person, Aquarius, they like to ghost here and disappear from you because they are very indecisive. This person puts you in a loop. This person gets you in an edge of confusion here. You don't know where you stand with this person here, Aquarius. And then we have um, agonizing pain, hurting. I'm also getting that this brings you a lot of pain. This could be you or your person. Someone is in pain here, Aquarius. Someone is feeling very broken. Your person or you here is currently feeling very broken about the connection that they have with you. Something is not working out as it's supposed to happen, as it's supposed to work here, Aquarius. There's an energy of somebody that is quite indecisive. This person could be ghosting you. You could be hearing from this person today and tomorrow you're not hearing from this person. I'm also getting that this could be someone that could have left you without any, without any closure in this connection. Or you could be wondering what happened in this connection. You don't know what happened between you and this person. Let's do the tarot and get more information about this connection. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors, what are the messages for Aquarius from their person? Holy Spirit. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Some of you are dealing with somebody that is very sneaky. Someone could have stolen your money here. You could have trusted the wrong person when it comes to your money here. With this Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, you could have given your money to someone here, Aquarius, that was just not worthy of it. Someone stabbed you in the back. This could be your person or just some in energies in your just some people in your energy at this point. We also have the Knight of Wands, that player energy, in and out energy. Someone that is here for a good time and not a long time. This fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have the Five of Swords, Aquarius. Some of you are dealing with an energy. Somebody that likes to win at all costs. I'm also picking up an argument. You could have had an argument with somebody about money here. This could be your person or someone that you're dealing with in your energy here, Aquarius. Where you felt like you gave something to somebody here. And this person was just very... Somebody could have also lied to you about what they needed to do with the money. You could have given somebody money and they used it for something else. I'm also getting an energy of someone that could have come and cried to you and they were telling you that, oh, I, I need my money. I need the money for this and that. But this was somebody that could have wanted to take the money to go, like, have a good time with this Knight of Wands energy. And then we have the Five of Pentacles right underneath the Ace of Pentacles, Aquarius. Whoever you gave this money to is currently, is, this is someone that is quite currently in this energy of uh, instability with this five of pentacles. There's a lack in your person's energy. I'm also getting Aquarius, you gave so much in a situation to a point of depletion where you have, you, you have nothing else to give anymore here with this five of pentacles. Some of you could have made a bad investment here. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guys, my ancestors, we have the four of pentacles. You are being advised to hold back. You, and I'm also getting Aquarius, you are currently now holding back your energy 
So people could be saying that you are being stingy, you are no longer giving, and this is because you have learned your lessons. You are giving to wrong energies here, Aquarius. I'm getting this could have something to do with like people that are uh, in your circle. This could be friends, this could be family, this could, could also be lovers. But there's an energy of you holding back because you are aware of this energy. You are aware that you're giving yourself or you're giving your money or you're giving your time to someone that doesn't deserve it here. You are creating healthy boundaries around you. And then we have this Queen of Cups coming right un underneath the Knight of Wands. Some of you were very loving in a situation here. You gave your heart to a player. You decided to love somebody that was just not in it. This person is that energy of like, you know, if you remember when we started with your reading, this person is saying that they are quite indecisive. So this person is in and out, coming very passionately, and then they will be gone as quickly as they came here. And then we have the two of swords again here, Aquarius, underneath the five of swords. You're dealing with an energy of someone that is indecisive, you know, not knowing what, to, what decision to make, not knowing whether to go left or right. I'm also getting, Aquarius, that your spirit team blocked out your finances here because you were giving it to the wrong people. It's like there was a blessing that you got from God, that you got from the higher power, that you got from your higher self, something that you received here, a gift. You're someone that could be very lucky. You're very lucky with money. But because you kept on giving it to people that were not deserving of that money, Aquarius here, this left you in this life of pentacles energy. And this, and I'm also getting that there won't be any restoration in your energy unless you learn to create boundaries, healthy boundaries, and you learn to, you learn to hold back whatever blessings you are receiving from your spirit team here, Aquarius, from your higher self, from the universe, from God. These blessings are for you. And it's okay for you to be giving, but you're, if you're giving to people that are in the seven of souls energy, you're giving to people that are very sneaky, thieves. Some people that are just using you for what you have here, Aquarius. So you are advised to hold back because you could have been giving to an energy, like this person that you were giving to, you are giving to an energy vampire, someone that is just sucking the life out of you and not putting, not bringing anything back into your life here, Aquarius. Let's clarify your reading. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius? What is this Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius? And then we have the strength energy. The strength is also about holding back here. Yeah. You need to hold back, Aquarius. You need to hold back. Stop, stop being so giving in situations where you know that you're dealing with people that are not trustworthy. Understand that love, money cannot buy love. So if you're trying to uh, buy somebody's affection or you're trying to show somebody that you love them by giving them money, giving them things, you are, you are advised to hold back because whoever this person is, Aquarius, they are not deserving of your energy. This five of pentacles is telling me that it's like you're, you're being put through a... Um, uh, spiritual lessons you're being put you, you you're learning a lot of lessons currently because of something that you gave in your past here Aquarius that left you very depleted here and until you learn to hold back with regards to your finances your time your material wealth anything that is of value of you until you learn to hold back it will be difficult for you to retain that success that you once had here Aquarius what is the seven of swords for Aquarius and spirit and then we have the king of pentacles definitely this is about money here the king of pentacles is money energy material energy i'm getting that you're dealing with very sneaky energies here someone definitely stole from you take took your money be careful who you have around you aquarius use your discernment use your intuition dealing with energies here don't be don't be just giving without setting boundaries set, set healthy boundaries between you and the people that are around you because some people are around you so just because they want to benefit something from you they want to just take from you the Knight of Swords is being clarified by the King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with air signs, fellow air signs, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And this energy that I'm picking up here, you're dealing with an energy of someone that is quite emotionally unavailable. And this person is in this player energy here. I'm also getting someone that could be potentially harsh with their words sometimes. Some of you are dealing with... Um, I'm also getting Aquarius here. Please note that tarot is gender fluid. You could be a masculine energy that is watching this. This King of Swords energy just gives me an energy of someone that is quite uh, very detached, very cold, very ruthless kind of energy. And I see the Queen of Swords right underneath here, Aquarius. I see that you're protecting yourself. You're creating healthy boundaries around you and this person here. You're able to protect yourself from this energy here. And this person now knows that they're not able to take from you. I'm also getting an energy of someone that currently feels defeated when it comes to you because they're not able to gain anything from this connection anymore you have created those boundaries and we have this nine of swords where you're feeling but this person is feeling very stressed out they're having they're having sleepless nights about whatever this is someone is feeling mentally defeated here aquarius what is this type of pentacles for aquarius 
And then we have the hangman. Some of you are dealing with Pisces energy here. Something requires you to see things from a different perspective with this hangman. I'm also getting an energy of you feeling stuck. I'm also getting an energy of like you feeling like you're surrendering yourself to a lot of situations here. And being an energy, uh, that sacrificial energy here, that Pisces sacrificial energy here with this hangman. And this is making you, this is getting you in this type of pentacles where you, there's no, there's a lack of stability here. There's a lack of, uh, of, uh, like you know material like money because you you tend to sacrifice yourself to other people here aquarius and this is keeping you stuck here this is getting you stuck what is this four of pentacles for aquarius so let's start with my angels my guys my ancestors what is the four of pentacles for aquarius and then we have the seven of pentacles aquarius i see you now holding back now holding back with regards to your finances you are no longer giving to anyone here aquarius you're like trying to keep the little bit that you have to yourself and i see you working on something here whatever play whatever seeds that you are planting here they are going to grow here aquarius they're going to be fruitful with the seven of pentacles i see an energy of being of pause where you are like just working extremely hard on something here and you're trying to keep your coins here aquarius you're trying to keep whatever you have what is this Queen of Cups for Aquarius? Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can be notified whenever I, I upload. We have the Six of Pentacles right on top of the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups energy is that water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you are someone that is very compassionate, very giving, very loving in a situation. I feel like so you're dealing with people that breadcrumb you. You are giving so much of yourself to people here. Or this could have been past energy where you end up giving yourself to a person here that was just taking advantage of you. This person was just using you here, Aquarius. I see that you're dealing with, you could have been dealing with a person that, that knows that you are very, you are very selfless here. You are very charitable you are very generous with your money with your time and this person took advantage of that here aquarius what is the two of swords for aquarius we have the four of cups here aquarius you're dealing you could be dealing with someone that is feeling very undecided when it comes to you this person also feels like you're a missed opportunity with this four of cups i'm also getting an energy of someone that just they, this person is just not interested so stop trying to offer this person anything stop trying to offer this person your heart you will end up depleting yourself you are giving too much to a situation here this person is still in the dark this person is still quite undecided uh, indecisive with regards to you and this connection and you don't want anyone that is not sure of you this person is not sure whether they want to be in a relationship with you here aquarius with this four of cups it's like they don't want this cup that you're giving them so stop giving your cup of love to the wrong people here Aquarius it will just leave you depleted let's find out what is challenging in your energies and we're going to get opportunities that are coming towards you please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you resonate with the reading please kindly leave me a comment I really appreciate that Aquarius it does help with my channel I am currently not doing personal readings but whenever I start you'll be the first to know obviously Let's get challenges in Aquarius' energy at this point. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What are the challenges in Aquarius' energy at this point? We have the Ace of Cups. Someone, has, some, some of you are struggling with love here with this Ace of Cups energy. The, new, the Ace of, of Cups speaks of like a new beginning in love. So you could have also met a person and you're struggling with that person. You, you're probably in this energy of like confusion. You don't know where you stand in this person's energy. You don't know whether this person wants to be with you or not. Some of you are just struggling to attract love, a new love at this point with this Ace of Cups coming up in the challenging aspect of your reading here. And then we have the Queen of Cups here, a lot of cups. Some of you are dealing with water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with this Queen of Cups energy. I'm getting an energy of like, you know, you are overly giving. You're, you're just like giving too much of yourself to situations here and to people that don't deserve it here with this Queen of Cups energy here, Aquarius. I'm also getting an energy of like, you not using really much of your logic. You're too much in your heart space. And that is, get, your judgment is being clouded currently because of like this kind of like, feelings that are are not reciprocated so if you're giving so much of yourself or your love to a person that is not reciprocating is not giving it back this is getting you in this energy of depletion here where you feel insecure you feel like you're not enough this is the energy that i'm picking up here Aquarius. 
And then we have an ace of wand here. The ace of wand speaks of like passionate new beginnings here. Something is a false start. Something could have started very quickly here where you met somebody, it was all exciting and this person could have, things could have just ended as quickly as they started here. I'm picking up a heavy false start energy with this ace of wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could have been in a relationship where you met somebody new with the states of carbs and everything was so exciting. You gave so much of yourself. You fell in love very quickly and something just ended as quickly as it started with the states of one. So you end up, you love the wrong person here, Aquarius. I'm getting an angel of someone that was just not looking for love here. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What is challenging in Aquarius' energy? And then we have the Seven of Cups. There's an energy. Aquarius, this could be you or your person. There's somebody here that has multiple options. There's someone here that likes to entertain a lot of people at once. And things are just not working out with this Three of Pentacles. I'm also getting that. If this is like your work situation, things are just not working out at your, at your job currently. Some of you could have lost your jobs. With this three of pentacles in the reverse because all these cards that i'm doing here are reversals that's why i named this uh, part of the reading the challenging aspect of the reading so things are just not working out at this point some of you could be struggling um with your co-workers here aquarius you could be you could be like having issues at work here aquarius things are just not working out for some reason let's get opportunities let's see what is coming towards you in terms of like opportunities don't forget to like and subscribe Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors, what is coming to us, Aquarius? What is coming to us, Aquarius? Let's find out what is coming towards you. Any opportunities? Any opportunities for Aquarius? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. Any opportunities for my beautiful Aquarius? Any opportunities? And then we have the justice card. Fairness and just decision. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your own beliefs. If you felt like you were treated unfairly in a situation, Aquarius, I'm seeing your balance, balance being restored in your energy. Some of you are dealing with Libras, and the number eight could also be significant in your energy here, Aquarius. Some of you could be getting an apology from someone here. And then we have the quick, the king of pentacles. Some of you are in this energy, like, you know, we have the generous, professional, responsible, practical energy here. A time for success. There's something that is coming towards you that is bringing in a lot of stability here, Aquarius, with this King of Pentacles energy here. You're, you, some, I'm also getting you being offered a lot of opportunities with regards to your financial life here, getting a new job, getting a promotion, or just getting uh, gifts, a lot of generous energy around you here. I'm also getting that Midas touch energy. Whatever you touch will turn into gold with this King of Pentacles energy here. So if there's something that you're working on, Aquarius, it is going to, it's going to be very successful it's going to be very fruit, fruitful with this king of pentacles energy there's something that is coming towards you that's going to bring in a lot of stability some of you are, de are dealing with taurus Virgo, capricorn and then we have the moon energy here there's something that you're not seeing here the moon speaks of stuff that you're not able to see um i'm guessing i'm seeing the number is eight so the numbers eight could be significant the moon is card number 18 the moon is cancer and pisces energy here there's something that you're not able to see here so we're going to find out what this is there's something that is hidden. And then we have the Queen of Fire, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands energy always represents the other person. So some of you could be dealing with energies with someone that is putting you with their own... Uh putting you on third party, in, in third party situations. So there could be like someone that they are currently seeing. This Queen of Wands energy here. So this is something that you're not able to see at this point. And then we have the lovers. I'm also getting a choice that needs to be made in love. Someone could have also made a choice to go towards a third party with that Queen of Wands energy. With this uh, lovers energy coming right underneath the Justice Aquarius, I'm getting that you were treated very unfairly by this person. This person went towards a very another person that was just not you, and you felt blindsided by this person. This is someone that is quite indecisive. This person could have like you know misled you here, yeah, sold you a dream. Made you feel like you are the one and then they made a decision to go towards another energy here aquarius 
with this lovers because the lovers does speak of choices in love the number six could also be significant so i'm getting that this person could have could have went towards a third party you, you might not be aware of this aquarius and then we have the temperance energy some of you are dealing with uh gemini with this lovers and we also have uh sagittarius with this temperance energy here there's something that needs balance and moderation here and if you're someone that likes to spend or you like to be generous here aquarius you need to do this in moderation here We have the six of wands, a victory, good news is on your way. Public recognition or awards coming right underneath the moon. Something that you're not able to see that is coming towards you is this recognition. Your hard work is paying off. You're going to get recognized for all the work that you have done with regards to a situation here, Aquarius. There's something that you could have been working on. You felt like you were not getting the recognition that you desired. And this is now coming towards you here. And it's coming in very quickly with this eight of wands energy. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things are happening all at once. Something that is very successful is coming. Something that is, very, is going to bring a lot of success is coming towards your energy at this point. Let's get some advice for you, Aquarius. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on the notification. I do post readings for Aquarius on a daily basis so you can be notified whenever I upload a video for you. Let's get advice for Aquarius. Let's get advice for Aquarius. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guys, my ancestors. What is the advice for Aquarius? We have, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Some of you are dealing with Aries energy. Something requires you to take action here, Aquarius. This could be your love life or your financial situation. Take it as it resonates. And we have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Some of you are dealing with Taurus energy. Have faith in your dreams. It works in crescent moon. And then we have communication is, is key. New moon in Gemini. Let's get two cards. And then we have... You, you are very close to achieving your goals, Gibeous Moon. And then we have a look at the bigger picture, Full Moon in Sagittarius. I'm going to end your reading here, Aquarius. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, thank you. I love you. Bye. Babe. <coughs> mm.